Hi guys, it's Joe here. Welcome to uh, something a little bit different. Airborne Kingdom. Uh, now I saw someone else on uh, on this game, and I thought, Do you know what? This looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Now before we dive right into things, a very important thing to mention. As I am, well, would you class me as a YouTuber? Yeah, I, I make videos and it goes on YouTube. Uh, if you buy this game, it is exclusive to Epic Games Store. You can type in my creator tag and I get a little bonus for you purchasing that game. Now, does it get you anything? It doesn't, but it's a case of if you type in my gamer tag, I'll, I'll get a little bonus back from it. If you don't type in my gamer tag, then nobody gets a bonus. So, you know, I mean, it's only a, a couple of pence if that. But if you do watch it, like I say, every little helps. So the link to that is in the description. It's not a link, sorry. Uh, you just have to do it on checkout when you buy the game. Uh, it's J-O-3-D-O-A-8-Y. Again, if you forget that, it's in the uh, in the section below. Uh, in the, in the, uh, the description, that's the word. So please do think of me. Anyway, let's jump into things. Now this is the first time I've loaded this game. So it's the blind lead in the blind... Let's just see where we end up. I'm hoping it comes with a tutorial. Ooh, it comes with a cutscene. In a bygone age, a kingdom existed like no other. This kingdom did not anchor its power. This kingdom took to the skies. It's very dramatic, isn't it? The airborne kingdom traveled to every kingdom on the ground, sharing knowledge, culture, and tradition. Its great council guided the lands through a golden age. Yet, long before even our elders can remember, the airborne kingdom vanished. Well, it's all very sinister, isn't it? The people sought to continue their harmony, but self-interest began to overrule. The land's three regions slowly isolated. Trade, travel, connections all unwound. Kingdoms contracted. And small settlements nearby were nearly wiped away. Bygone times turned to legend. It's actually a bit emotional, isn't it? But in the tapestry, we found instructions. A blueprint to remake the technology of the ancients. A prophecy to restore the airborne kingdom. There was but one belief we had wrong that day, though it proved vital. For such a finding was no chance at all. Well, that is all very dramatic, isn't it? Lift off. All our painstaking efforts have succeeded. Our home flies, yet this is only the beginning. To truly rebuild the Ancients' vision, we need to find every kingdom upon the lands and befriend them as common allies. We also need inhabitants to form our great council in this new empire. I'm assuming that's, uh, that's people. We should start with the kingdom of Rutula. 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 Rutula sounds like more of a, you know, place that you would actually find. Not far from us, and the only kingdom we know. But first, we must build our houses and find supplies. Well, let's just go for it. And, uh, oh, right, okay. Uh, we're going to be getting used to the controls, of course. So, so that kind of does... Ah, so it's kind of inverted. Scrolling in, zooms us in. That turns us round. Oh, we have people there. Hello, people. Okay, so do we have uh, do we have some sort of objective? Is there a tutorial? Is there, you know, is there anything? No. Right. Well, let's uh, let's build some path. 
And of course, because it's flying, every time you build something, if you look, no tilt issues, uh, zero degrees front, zero degrees to the right. So, you know, if you build everything on one side, what I'm guessing, from what I've watched already on YouTube, is that it's going to end up at an angle and uh, and potentially fall out the sky. So that's, uh, that's definitely not something we want to happen. There we go. Look, all our... Uh, all our little chaps are working away there. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Basic controls. As you would expect, you click the left mouse button to select things. You can use Q and E, WASD to move, and C to recenter. Ah, very clever. Ah, that that is good. Right, okay. People and work. On the top bar, you can see the amount of people that have joined you. There. On the left is the number of people, on the right is the number of housing blocks. Oh, I see, so we've got nine people and zero housing blocks. Uh, with no specifically assigned task, we'll build any available construction. If there's no available construction, they are not assigned to work, they will show as idling. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's build some houses. Where do we want to build houses? I have absolutely no idea. Whoops. Housing block. Okay, we can change from, uh, we've got two different types of housing block. Should we, should we just place them there, 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 and uh, can, can we, uh, yep, yeah, over there, thank you. So if we go with symmetry, then, I mean, I would not want to live there. I, I wouldn't want to live in a, a floating city, I'm not going to lie. How many housing blocks have we got? Four. Uh, what can what can we do here? Can we? Well, you can stick him on there. Can you? The cost is too high. Hang on, how can the cost be too high? Uh, what are we? Uh... Oh right, okay. Yeah, we need we need more things. What do we need? Five bits of tree, also known as wood. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, okay. Any buildings must be connected to the town centre via paths. These walkable platforms also act as sturdy connections between buildings. Okie dokie, that's fine. Pay attention to tilt, that's fine. Gathering resources, right, okay. Uh, ah, right. That could be a problem. Uh, people can research, etc, etc. Hangers contain planes. They can, it should be one of the first buildings you construct. Oh dear. We could, uh, oh hang on, we don't need wood for that. That's fine. Well, where's the hanger going to go? Because that is very much, uh, you know, well, it's it's awful, isn't it? It's, it's what it is. But it looks fairly central. So that's where we're going. Can we, there we go. Oh, it's put it on. That's truly awful, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's, how do we get rid of you? Right. Have we got any tilt? That, that's truly horrendous. But we can sort it. We can sort it. I'm confident. So essentially, the hangar, the, the bits that we needed down there, and uh, and we need to go down and get them. And the hangar is how we're going to do that. Contains seven aircraft used by workers to gather resources and interact with people in the world below. Okay... So where are our trees? Oh, the uh, oh right, okay. So right clicking moves the the town. Ah, there are some trees. Right, okay. Let's get all our people, uh, all but one, because one can build the houses. Oh, that's brilliant. Look, they they right. Well, we'll set them on the wood. They essentially just drop out the bottom of the city. Would you call it a city? I'd probably call it a flying machine at the minute. It's, there's not enough things to be a city. And then they are they, are they going to come back? How do they land? Where's the runway? Have we got a runway? I'm assuming that's the runway. Oh, here's a plane. Oh, that's just exceptional. And out from here appears a person carrying wood. That's brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. We need some more houses then, don't we? So we'll uh, we'll pop you there. And then we'll pop you symmetrical over there.
We still need need uh, need more houses, so we'll uh, we'll build some pathing. Now the the housing people don't like to uh, the housing people, the uh, the people that live in houses don't like to live near anything. It uh, it transpires. So we're going to have to be fairly tactical with where we put the houses. And we need three more. So let's put them there, yeah. Because this is going to offset the uh, the massive great big walloping hangar that we've just bunged on the uh, on the end. So let's stick a housing block there. Yeah, and there. Keep it nice and symmetrical. How many have we got now? Seven, eight, and then we need a ninth. Uh, but we're not going to be able to stick that as a symmetrical one. So we'll pop you there. There we go, that's nine houses. Do we have like a, um, like some sort of a, a tick list? Right, okay, we'll keep reading the instructions. Movement. Unlike other kingdoms, your kingdom can move. Simply right click anywhere on this land and you will start moving in that direction. Being a mod has its advantages. You can get closer to resources that would otherwise be too far away. The closer you are to a resource, a resource, the faster you'll gather it. That's good to know. Research new buildings. Construction on a flying platform is hard. You don't say. That is very much stating the, you know, that's stating the absolute uh, obvious there, isn't it? Beyond basic and storage buildings, you must research any new constructions at an academy so that they will work in the skies. Your people don't have many ideas for buildings yet, but an adobe kiln would be a useful addition. So you can transfer buckets into bricks. There we go. Create an academy and start researching an adobe kill. Right. Where's the research button then? Is that is that on the bottom here? Center camera, map, build, research tree. Oh, you need to build an academy. Yeah, of course. It, they have literally just said that. So we need uh, essentially 30 bits of wood. So can we... Where's the forest gone? Where is the forest? Oh, have we destroyed the forest? Ah, right, the forest is there. Okay. So there's two remaining. So where do we... I mean, is that going to come back? Are the planes coming back now? Yeah, they're, uh, they're doing their thing. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Pyong. Get to it, flying city. It's incredibly pretty to watch, isn't it? You know, it just... I mean, how harmonious. It just, you know, just floating along. It's got a very uh, Asian theme to it, this game. You know, we've got the, the, uh, the, the whatchamacallits on the top. I'm sure they have a name. I mean, it, it's it's less Sultan of Brunei and more Sultan of the Sky, isn't it? That's uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be me. What's this balloon chap doing here? Is is he to do with us? What are you doing? You're not gonna like shoot me down, are you? If I go near you? No. Let's uh, let's send some planes. There they go. Because we need our Adobe kiln. No. Oh. We are jubilant. That's that's good to be, isn't it? Oh, the balloon's gone. Why is the balloon gone? What does he mean? Oh, well, people are coming back. You know, so we're, uh, we're, we're doing well in that sense. Where's our academy? Right, so we need 30 and 5 people to build it. I reckon, you know, that we're going to stick the academy on the other side of town. Why do none of the people have faces? This is the thing, you know, they're all... They all kind of... Well, they're all walking like they've, you know, like they've messed themselves. 
And uh, and none of them have faces. Why why can't they be happy and smiley? You know that that's a concern of mine. I I want. They're all just kind of walking like faceless, faceless morons. You know they're just they're just existing. They're not happy. Oh, we need five people, right? Okay. Well, where's the where's the wood? Hang on. You you're still not used to these cameras yet. Uh, right. Minus some people. There we go. We'll leave two on. So if we could all just return nicely, that would be splendid. Thank you. Very kind of you. Ah, we can build an academy now. Can we fit you in there? Ooh. Ooh, can we? Yeah, but you're not going to be central. Okay. Let's get to it. Get it built. We're, we're kind of on an angle here, aren't we? Right. Build some path. So I mean, does it does it tell you if you're tilting or not? Oh, there we go. Right, so we can now use a research tree. Now, uh, oh yeah, lots of things. So we've got basic things here that we can research, such as increase maximum possible speed by ten percent. It's all just it's your typical research tree, isn't it? You know, there's. We've got nothing in lift, propulsion, or desires yet. That seems to be blanked out. We've already got all this stuff. Uh, but they did say we needed an adobe kiln. So we are researching it. Completing in two hours now. Is that two real hours? Or is that two game hours? Because we don't seem to have a clock. Fair dues. Oh, hang on. Uh, so we lose half a coal an hour. Powering the central fan. So what happens if we run out? Do we fall out of the sky? Let's hope uh, that that doesn't happen. What's down here? Oh, there's coal down there. Right, okay. So so long as we're here, you know, there's there's nothing really too. You know, fingers crossed. Right. So we need to. Uh, where where's the map? So we're here. Okay. So the prophecy scrawled on the tapestry is clear. We can only achieve prosperity by remaking the Airborne Kingdom. We must have a great council as with many members, as the ancients did. 9 out of 150. Sensational. So that's, you know, we're, we're well on the way. We must find an alloy with all of the kingdoms throughout the lands. Okay. So, how do we... Uh, are we over water here? Is, is that water? It's kind of difficult to tell what's water and what's not. So, we, do we just set off? Ooh, a quartz mine. Relic ruin. Okay. Uh, I mean, do, how, do, how does it work? I mean, what's this? This is a forest. Oh! A small settlement. Right. We approach a hovel on the edge of nowhere. Some settlers may wish to join us to leave the land's toil behind. Settlers, by necessity, are hard and tireless. I recall our own... Oh, right, this is just, uh, this is just something. Uh, right, let's go and recruit. So a few of the settlers seem intrigued by our vision, but they want assurance that they're leaving for a happier home. Uh, right, okay. Well, they all say excited to join. We've got Golma Dan. Well, they're all thrilled up here, so we'll hire you. An eager migrant, but with something important that can't be left behind. Zama Isaw. And Rod Udar. Okay, well, they all... They all seem to, you know, be happy. Except now I've got no houses for them, so we're going to have to build more houses. Okay. Um... Right, so workers don't like living near the adobe kiln. Okay, fair dues. What can we... Uh, I mean, I always want to be researching something at once. Uh... Ooh. 
That's interesting. Increase resource gather rate by 50%. That's a good thing to... Uh, but we might need storage. So increases storage by, uh, by 25%. I think that's the one. Because we want to be able to store lots of stuff, don't we? Right, let's have a look. So a housing block, can we... Uh, can we... Yeah, let's have a look. Let's change it into the different sort. We'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll be a little bit funky. Pop you there. Pop you there. And can we do? Can we stick you on on there? Yeah, we can. Right. Okay. That's fine. I think. Is it? Have we got enough houses for our lovely people now? Our faceless people. Okay. Yep, we definitely have. Right. Let's. Uh, how many coal have we got? Let's get one person on there on the coal mine. What can we do with this now then? Do we do we just not is that that small settlement done with? Okay. We'll get someone collecting some food. And uh, have we got some water? Is that water? Oh yeah, we need water. Good lord. Right, okay. Can anyone see water? Ah, right below us. Right. Get collecting. There we go. So, we need to, for your kingdom to thrive, you must always look for more people to join. Potential migrants can be found at small settlements. They look at the happiness of your current inhabitants to judge whether they'd like to join. Okay. So, average satisfaction is sensational. You know, they're all really happy. Twelve that are all jubilant. Your people do not enjoy living next to certain buildings, like the one you just finished researching. They are indicated with a red radius while you're placing them. Pay careful attention when placing these buildings so they're far away from any housing. Okay. Ooh. Right. Well, the only real good place we could stick it is, uh, you know, over here. But, uh, in... Ooh. So let's have a look at our uh, adobe kiln. Where is the... Uh, Oh, we need 15 wood. Hmm. There it is. There's the forest. Right, get four on it. Get some wood quick, please. Oh, hang on. There's only... Uh, there's only... Yeah, only eight bits of wood remaining. That's not going to take us up to 15, is it? I will get the hang of this. I will get the hang of this. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so right, that forest is uh, it has been uh, well and truly pillaged. What are we what are we doing over there? That's a thicket. Have we got another forest? Oh, I'm loving the acrobatic display that we've got going on uh, there. Where's the nearest forest? Ah, right, 14 remaining. Send some more. Off you go. Go and uh, go and bring some wood back. I could move over there to make it a little bit easier for them, but uh, but we are kind of taking from here and here at the same time, so uh, we'll, we'll let them go. It will do them good to get out of the town for a little bit. That's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going with. I'm sticking with that. Oh, delivering. Let's, uh, let's stick it on, uh, on fast forward. Do the number controls? Yes, the number pad controls the uh, the speed, which is what we like. Okay, right. Wood. Where's the uh, where's the wood? Forest. Take you all off because we need to build our kiln. Not that one. Adobe kiln. Right, okay, so that red circle, we essentially cannot have any houses in. Oh, dear me. Dear me indeed. Um, right, okay, well what about here? You could build it there. There's nothing to stop you building it there. I reckon uh, if we build it there, we'll pop you there. I don't think that paths cost anything to build, you know, so, uh, yeah. They're just happily building away there. 
Oop, not the map. I think that this is going to tilt us like obscenely ridiculous the other way. But it doesn't seem to be. It says no tilt issues. Let's just build it. For some reason, that's not messed us up. So that we're, the adobe kiln mustn't be too heavy. Now what I need to do is make a mental note that, uh, that not to build houses here, because otherwise they'll all whinge. Okay, what can we do with you? So you're going to turn buckets. What are buckets? Have we got buckets? It doesn't say we do. What are buckets? I mean... Oh, hang on. We're, no, no, we're setting off. Stop moving! That's coal. Coal. What's, what are the buckets? It doesn't seem to say anywhere. Oh, that's how to, uh, yeah. Are you it? Nope, you're a coal deposit. What about you? An unknown ruin. Where do we get the buckets from? What's mine? Can't get any buckets from you. Hmm. The tapestry ruin, which is too far away. Can we, uh, can we go to the tapestry ruin? Right, let's get all our people away from the coal, because we've got enough coal now. And we've got enough food. Where's that thicket gone? Uh, there. Right, get you off there. Oh, where are the buckets? I don't know what the buckets are. Um, has it told me what the buckets are? Right, let's go and investigate. Ah, I've worked out what the balloon is now. It's when we click somewhere. The balloon acts as like a marker so that I know where the city is going. Ah, right. Are you buckets? No, you're a thicket. Buckets. Buckets? You just yelling buckets at the screen is not going to bring buckets. Maybe we have to investigate something. Okay. A number of small ponds glow with strange colours next to a small abandoned settlement. The walls of the building are dyed in a similar colour to the waters. The source of pigment is a mystery. We can change the colours of our own buildings with these dyes. We take the dyes to customise our own buildings. So what happens there then? Ah! Very clever. We can, uh, yeah, do, do we have to pay for this? Ah, very nice indeed. Now oh, there we go. Well, the, the floating city is now blue and green. Does it, you know, does it make any sort of difference, the fact that it's blue and green? I don't know, to be honest with you. But it's now blue and green. Uh, how do we... Yeah, I, I clicked that. Thank you. Well, I'm going to still have to uh, sit here and work out where we get these damn buckets from. Because I'm sure we must have to harvest them from somewhere. Does it say? Nope. Mm, nope. Well, I don't know. Perhaps I've just missed something. Which is, you know, more than plausible. What are you? Unknown ruin? Oh, we've... Uh, oh, right, okay. Uh, well, before we... Uh, basics. Resource, is it in here? Well, we can increase some efficiency. How can we increase efficiency if we don't know what it is that we're meant to put in? Oh, dearie me. This is... Uh, this is turning out to be quite a conundrum. Ooh. Can we... Ah, buckets. No. Why won't you let me click you? I want to know what you are. Ah, adobe kiln cannot work because it's missing clay. Right, okay, right, so the buckets are clay. Okay, well I'll stop yelling buckets at the screen and start yelling clay at the screen. Clay should be something that we can, we can, you know, every other game I've ever played, 
you can mine, Claire. Slash steal it from the... Yeah, we've, we've stolen people from that settlement already. Okay, well, that is... Uh, that is... Uh, let's find a nice, a nice artistic view. That's nice, isn't it? There we go. That is uh, Airborne Kingdom. It's not all of Airborne Kingdom. Uh, we're going to keep looking at the Airborne Kingdom. And uh, so, yeah, make sure that you click like on the video, if, of course, you did like the video. And subscribe so that you never miss out on any more Airborne Kingdom action. If you think, do you know what, I'm going to get this game, uh, then brilliant, yeah. It's certainly a bit different, you know, it's different to what I'd usually play. And I hope that uh, that you'll you'll bear with me, you know, go with it. Let's, let's get into this. I mean, it is essentially a city builder with a bit of a twist. Yeah, okay, so if you do decide to get it, on the checkout, make sure you type in my creator tag, J-O-3-D-O-8-8-Y. Yeah, Joe Dobby was taken. That happened years ago. Uh, yeah, make sure you type that, because I get a little bonus. And uh, until next time, cheerio, goodbye for now.